with DSM 7.2 setting up a reverse proxy to do an HTTP to HTTPS redirect using the steps I covered in my original reverse proxy video has changed. And in this video, I'll go over those changes to get things working. Just to be clear, almost all of my original reverse proxy video is still valid and only the HTTP to HTTPS redirect setup has changed. And this is what I'll specifically be covering in this video. If you do need to set up a reverse proxy from scratch, you'll want to watch my original video, which I'll link to in the description below. Then come back to this one for the HTTP to HTTPS changes that you'll need to do in DSM 7.2. As a starting point here in this video, I've already set up a DDNS hostname and configured port forwarding on my router. Under login portal, I've set up the HTTPS to HTTPS reverse proxy rule. I've also installed Apache and WebStation from the package center. And using FileStation, I've created an HTTP to HTTPS folder under the web shared folder where I've added the .ht access file I mentioned in my previous video. Now I'll bring up WebStation and start setting up the HTTP to HTTPS redirect. I'll select Web Portal, click Create, and this is where things change in DSM 7.2. Instead of having the option to create a virtual host, you'll need to go through a two-step setup to get the HTTP to HTTPS redirect configured. The first step is to create a web service, so I'll start by clicking on the option to create a new web service. For service type, I'll leave static website selected. Under general settings, I'll enter in a name and description. For document root, I'll select the HTTP to HTTPS folder under the web shared folder that contains the .access file. And for the HTTP backend server, I'll select the Apache HTTP server. Then I'll finish up and create the web service. Next, from this portal creation wizard, for portal type, I'll select web service portal, which brings up this set up a web service portal window. Here, the service box should have the web service that was just created automatically selected. But if you have multiple services, you'll want to select the HTTP to HTTPS service. For portal type, I'll select port based, and for port, I'll enable HTTP and enter in an unused port number in the associated box. Like my previous video, I'll use port 50,000 here as well. No other changes are needed, so I'll click Create to complete the setup needed in WebStation. Now I'll create the reverse proxy rule to implement the HTTP to HTTPS redirect by bringing up Control Panel, selecting Login Portal, then under the Advanced tab, I'll click on the reverse proxy option. Here I'll click create, then enter in a name for the reverse proxy rule. Under source for hostname, I'll enter in the DDNS hostname that was set up earlier and set the port to 80. Under destination, hostname should be set to localhost and the port should be 50,000, which is the port that was used earlier when setting up the web service portal in WebStation. Then I'll click save to finish things up. At this point, the HTTP to HTTPS redirect should be working. And I'll test to make sure by bringing up a new web browser tab and enter in the HTTP address using the DDNS hostname that I've set up and connect to the site. We can see that the redirect to HTTPS is working as expected in my setup, and I hope things are working for you as well. If you would like further details on setting up a reverse proxy on a Synology NAS, make sure to check out my original reverse proxy video listed here on screen. Also, consider supporting my work or hire me for a project you are working on by checking out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.